Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel, Theo here. Yes, from the title you can tell what's going on. Uh-huh, I bought another car. Before you say anything, please, 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 let me explain. Let me explain what's going on. introduce the car and anything like that if this is the first time you stop by the channel make sure that you hit that subscribe button hit the notification icon so you can get notified whenever i drop videos i drop videos every sunday yes sunday at 6 a.m if you come by here you will have a new video regarding one of the three cars that i have now on the channel one of them f80 m3 another one e36 m3 and then the one that I'm, it's right behind the camera right there so um, just in a few seconds, I'm going to show you the car. But before I do so, let me explain to you why I decided to get another car. Well, I didn't really decide. It just kind of happened on its own. Yeah, I know I made a video when I got rid of the Mini Cooper stating that I wanted to keep two cars. That is true. I really wanted to keep two cars. But then when I saw this, I just, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just could not say no. I explained to you when I bought the E36 M3 that I think that I have maybe a, a car buying problem. I don't know if you have someone that can analyze the situation going on here and tell me. I strongly believe I have a car issue when it comes to BMW. Yes, this is an E46 M3 and it is beautiful. This is the, the car is really dirty right now. I've had this car for about one month now. I was just driving it and fixing whatever little things that needed to be fixed. I'm going to explain in another video pretty much all the things that I have done to the car so far. But here it is. Man, new addition to the channel. And I hope that you guys love it. So you have content about this, the E36, the F80. Man, <laughs> this car, Lord. Yo, this, yo, 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 this car is beautiful. Let me take you around. On the front here, you obviously can see we have a gloss black uh, kidney grille here. We have darker headlight. This is definitely not factory or if it is factory, then some changes were done because when I see some M3s, it's not really black out like that, but I'm pretty sure this is aftermarket. You also have angel lights. I'm going to turn them on soon enough. You were going to see that. You have this nice front lip, you know, carbon fiber front lip right there. And then when it comes to the wheels, these are VMR CSS style replicas. I think it's style 107, something like that wheels. And these are pretty much 18s on the front and also 18s in the back. Now, I believe this might be 18 eight and a half and 18, eight, uh, nine and a half on the back. Don't quote me, I don't know, but this was not provided to me. I, I just, you know, figured that would be the specs based on how old this car is, right? So right now when we come, you also have a blackout turn signal right there. Obviously you have tents. If we come here again, do we have these um, VMR wheels? On the back you have the LCI tail light, this is a 2002, so normally those one come with a halogen bulb around here, but here you can see LED, so this has been upgraded to the LCI uh, darker tail light. As you can see from the tags, I just got the car. Quad pipes, you also have the diffuser here, which I definitely have to adjust here. As you can see, it's a little coming off, so it might be a few clips here that I have to check. And the exhaust here is actually active auto work. And then the previous owner said that it's actually going from header back. But again, I didn't verify that. But you can see here the active auto work sign right here. So definitely this is active auto work. And um, it sounds really good. M3 logo right there. Probably going to put the M3 competition, you know, the newer version of logo right there. Probably. I don't know if it's going to be rice out, rice out. And you have this not really sure what these things are called but here you have csl trunk carbon fiber i know it looks gray but trust me it is carbon fiber because it's made by volstein all right if i pop the trunk really quick you can see volstein right here you can see carbon fiber mm -hmm. it is carbon fiber but the 
top has been painted you know just to match the color which i actually love because it's subtle it makes you think that it is the factory csl although it is carbon fiber probably gonna have to have some type of side skirt install sometimes you also have this tent right here now the car is already lowered on st coilovers front and back and those are adjustable i don't have camber plates now if we go on the inside before i open the hood you're gonna see uh, one little goodie that i have here so this car came equipped with this nrg wrist bucket seat now as you can see right here the red one now i also have the factory seat that came on this specific spa and i also have you know the rest of the car black which is the original interior and then you have these it's actually i think a vinyl wrap carbon pieces this is the smg transmission i know you're going to say oh my god you got an smg yes i got an smg because it was cheaper god damn it maybe sometime down the line i will have to change that to a six speed you have carbon fiber paddle shifters right here also another the, that same vinyl that they use right there i'm pretty sure they use it right there and a few other pieces around the cars you can see like right there they also use that the car has 144,000 miles when i purchased it i think it was 143 i drove around 1000 miles already with this car remember i told you that um i drove it man for a month I've put in mileage on this thing so let me go ahead and open the trunk really quick i mean the hood for you so you can see what's going on so you have this strut brace that has been installed right here which i love again carbon fiber nice i guess it's made by red danger g whatever you pronounce that thing motorsport <laughs> Now, one thing that was not done in terms of performance, oh, I forgot to mention, you also have this AFE cold air intake right here. This filter is brand new. The owner literally placed it about 10 miles before I purchased the car, so this is brand new. And yeah, now, the owner mentioned that when he purchased the car, the previous owner, when he purchased the car, he had a PPI inspection done, and they didn't see any issues with the rod bearing, the vanos, and the subframe rate right there on the back so those are the main three issues that this car will have so those were checked and to be in good condition you know that's a, that was a good thing from the previous owner and the previous owner for the two years ownership that he had he only drove 4,000 miles so when he checked that if he only drove 4,000 miles you know my understanding is that it will still be in good condition but i do plan on fixing all of those things you know through my ownership because i as you know i want to keep this car forever let me go ahead and turn on the angel light for you oh man it sounds so lovely so let me turn off the head automatic headlight as you can see this one stays so i definitely have to fix that i replaced the sensor already and but it i think it might be like a wire situation going on there on the second video i'm going to make about this car i'm going to explain all the little things that are fixed on the car already so let me show you the angel lights so you can see them beautiful pretty bright it is very bright as you can see let me back out a little bit let me uh let you hear how she sound Tell me, how does the car sound? I think it sounds pretty good. I don't hear any rust that I hear normally for the E46 M3. Now, again, the old previous owner mentioned that this is a header back active auto world uh, exhaust. I did check under the car a few times and you know, I see some stuff here, but I have to really check to confirm that it's exactly that. I know for a fact that the cut back is definitely from active auto work, but I don't know about the rest of the pipe because I still see down pipes and stuff in there. So I'm not really sure how um, that is. I haven't made my research to see how the active auto work, you know, from the header all the way to the exhaust look like to compare with what I have installed on the car. 
but I do have plans for this car. Now, um, I really don't want to go crazy on this car because I just love the way it sits, the way it looks right now. A lot of the things that I'm going to do right now is really minor little things. Definitely want to ad address the big three first before I do any, any, any type of engine work. I want to make sure that the big three are done because as you can see, this car is in a very, 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 very good condition. I think the only two things in terms of the shape of the car that I have to address are really like first thing would be this right here. You can see these little paint, paint chips right here. Definitely gonna have to take that to like a shop for them to like fix all of that front. And then there's another spot of um, little rust. The only rust on the car is right here. So I definitely wanna take that before it got bigger to address that part. So when I do those two things, to me, the car will be perfect, 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 perfect. And I'm gonna make sure that I have like a um, nice clear coat, maybe type of bra put in there. If I don't do that, maybe some type of wax, just to make sure that the paint stays good. Now, this is the original paint. Trust me, original paint. The previous owner mentioned that he had that check. This car was never repainted. So that means all the previous owner really kept the paint in check that's why i want to make sure that i do my part although i want to be the last owner of this car but you never know in the future this is looking so good i took this car on a quick local car show and i had tons tons of compliments i had people that had g80s complimenting this car coming to check out this old e46 m3 yes 2002 almost about to have my history tag on the back because yes i mean once the car is 20 years old you can get a history tag but i love this car and that's really why i couldn't pass on this offer yeah i know i, I might sound crazy but uh i had a lot of explaining to do the day that i brought this car home trust and believe me um that's it guys so you saw the new addition this is the real secret that i was telling you that i was keeping for you guys but yeah i love it man i add man oof oof look at that look look at that look at that and i'm actually thinking about putting the 18s wheels that i have for the e36 on this because when i purchased those wheels they were actually coming off an e46 so imagine this with black wheels maybe for the winter session because those tires are really all purpose all weather tires so I'm thinking during the winter, probably that might be what I drop for this one because I want to drive this car every single day. Man, since I got this car, I've been driving the E36 or the F80. I've been driving this car almost every day. That's how I got a thousand miles in one month on this right there because I was just so excited to drive this. I know it's an SMG and if you know about SMG, I'm going to actually make a video explaining the SMG. When it's your first time driving the SMG, you would think that you are breaking the car. I swear to God, it is brutal. It is so weird compared to the F80 where everything is smooth and fast and lightning fast, actually, when you're in Sport Plus. No, here, you, if you feel like the differential is about to come out of the car, it feels like the transmission is about to be out of the car. It's just so weird. Yes, but I've made my research. That's exactly how the car actually feels until you learn how to properly shift. Once you learn how to shift, it feels different. I'm going to make an explanation video about the SMG and the manual. I know it's a big, big conversation regarding those two elements right there. So yeah, um, that video will be coming up where you can actually learn the difference between SMG and manual, although it might be common difference between that as far as just saying manual and SMG. But there's a big conversation. If you're from the community, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, then wait for that video so you can learn what I'm talking about. All right, man, this is it. I need to get to the gym now. Um, so see you on the next video. Bye-bye.